Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and I'm hoping that I make better life decisions than I make FPL decisions. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at Game Week 29, what happened in the various leagues and then what I'm doing for Game Week 30. As always, we'll start with the Midnight Mule FPL Mini League and highest scorer was Dr. A.W. Quad or Draw Squad. It's either Dr. Orr's Quad or Draw Squad. But anyway, whatever it is, 157 point, very good. Look at those scores. Captain Matoma, that was 28 points in total. Watkins, 17. Trippier, 14. Rashford, 12. Chilwell, 9. Kepa, 8. Isaac, 8. Salah, 7. Lots of points all over the place. And they bench boosted. So we had Steele for 10. Tony for 11. Burn for 8. Pinnock for 9. Very good score. What can I say? <laughs> that was a good score. Top of our league is still Jacob Eriksson, Skog's Glanton IF, scored 117 points. We got Captain Rashford, 24, Trippier, 14, Tony, 11, McAllister, 9, Botman, 9, Kepper, 8, Kane, 7, March, 8. Also bench boosted, Steel 10, Saka, 1, Shaw, 1, Martinelli, 5. So quite a few managers brought in Shaw. And now they've got to decide or wait to see what his injury's like. And are they going to hold him for the double game week 34 or if he's out for several weeks? I guess he'll get moved on. But anyway, another good score. What about me? <laughs> Down to 94th, I got 98 points this game week. So what did I do wrong? Well, for a start, I captain Fernandez, which was a bad idea. We knew he was playing defensive. He's so defensive, he's practically in goal now. And it was only Fernandes and Darwin that didn't get any returns for me this game week. So anyone else, apart from Darwin and Fernandes, I would have done better. I guess Rashford would have been the one I would have captained had I not gone Fernandes. But there we go. So what happened? I got Matoma 14, Rashford 12, Trippi of 14, Chilwell 9, Kepper 8, Estubnan 7, Salah 7, Johnson 8. So it wasn't an awful score, but it wasn't great. My bench was Raya 8, Botman 9, Henry 3. I didn't bench boost. The reason being, Harlem was injured, so I was already going to be a player down. I thought there's a reasonably good chance Brentford would let in a goal in both games, which they did. However, Raya made so many saves that he actually got 8 points in the end. I also thought it was quite feasible Newcastle would let in goal in both their games against West Ham and at Man United, or rather at home to Man United. But actually kept a clean sheet there. So there's lots of managers did have Brentford and or Newcastle defenders or keepers on the bench. I didn't want to bench boost on that because I thought too much of a chance there wouldn't be clean sheets and that worked against me. So had I bench boost 20 points I'd have been happy generally with 20 points for a bench boost. And what makes it worse is of all the game weeks left there's a reasonably good chance I'm not going to get as much as 20 points in any of those weeks on the bench. I've still got my bench boost, but there we go. We've still got next season to look forward to. So 98 points overall. Overall rank, 853,000. Uh, there we are, third red arrow in a row. I'm 38 points behind the half million mark, but I'm still 13 in front of the one million mark. So gradually, slowly, on average, moving in the right direction. 602 subscribers and I put a video up this morning and I had 604 subscribers so a funny thing's happening whenever I put a video up within the first minute or two I lose one or two subscribers so I'm guessing it's bots where a bot puts up a channel and keeps subscribing to other YouTubers who have only got a few subscribers like myself hoping they're sub back and then when they don't they disconnect or it could be uh, people who don't like the things I say. That's another possibility. And the final possibility is somebody keeps subscribing, forgetting they've already subscribed, so they unsubscribe. There we go. Various possibilities there. But if you like this sort of stuff and you like to see me suffer, then please do subscribe and leave comments, like, etc. So the FPL Game Week website, you can see the content creators, how they're doing. Top content creator at the moment is Ben Krellin. Second is Harry Daniels. I mentioned these two because these are two people that I follow. They're both within the top 1,000 globally, which is obviously very good. And then I'm way down in 54th, languishing there. The only other person I watch regularly 
on this page is FPL Focal, but Oscar's still, what, 43 points ahead of me. So he's having a very bad season by his standards, but still beating me. But I'm having a bad season by my standards, so I guess all of us can say that if we're doing bad. So my team for game week 30, as it looks. Rashford, I've currently got my captain's hat, the old mule hat on Rashford. They're at home to Everton, Man United are. I've also got Fernandez from Man United. Salah's my vice captain at home to Arsenal. And I've got Darwin up front at home to Arsenal. Haaland's away to Southampton. Glad to see it looks like he's going to be fit now. So it'd be interesting to see how many people would be selling. Probably Tony, possibly Kane to get in Haaland. If you don't get in Haaland, you're risking having a lot of points go against you. At the moment, I'm not captaining Haaland, even though I think he will be the most popular choice. I'm just risking Rashford at home to Everton is going to do better. So I'm not trying to be differential. I'm just going for who I think will get the more points. In goal, I have Kepa. So that's Chelsea away to Wolves. And I've also got Chilwell playing for Chelsea away to Wolves. Henry for Brentford at home to Newcastle. Trippier away to Brentford. And then I've got March and Matoma in the middle away to Tottenham. And then on my bench, the bench order is I've got Raya in goal. And then Johnson away to Villa, Estupin away to Tottenham, and Botman away to Brentford. Any of those bench players, if they came on, I'd be fine with that. I could have almost just put any random players in, it would have been okay, probably. Now, funny thing, I think it's a bit funny. I When I played the uh, wildcard a couple of game weeks ago, I did it based on what the likely games were going to be, and I invested in making sure I had Fernandez, Salah and Darwin, knowing they had some bad games and then getting good games. But um, I think that was the wrong thing to do. And I should have been much short term. I should have just gone, obviously, in retrospect, Watkins, Villa had a few easy games. I should have just gone him instead of Darwin. Even though in the next two or three weeks, people will probably be selling Watkins to get Darwin. That's my prediction anyway. Anyway, for my current squad... Kepa's not playing in game week 32 because four teams are blanking. Neither is Chilwell, Fernandez, March, Rashford, Matoma, Haaland. So that's seven players that I'm starting today aren't playing in game week 32. But it doesn't matter about Kepa because I do have Raya. So at least my keeper spots covers. That's six outfield players there. And then on my bench, I've got Estupinen isn't playing in game week 32. I currently have two free transfers, so I can make two in game week 30, one in 31, and one in 32. So without taking any hits, I can move four of the seven on. So if there aren't any unexpected injuries, I can still get 11 players out, potentially, for the blank game week. So that was always my plan. And because it's a stupid on my bench, it's probably him that I'm going to move on. Currently, I've not decided for sure who I'm going to get. It's between Castagna for Leicester because their fixes are okay in this game week. Game week 32 where it blanks, and game week 34 where I may bench boost. Another option is I could get Ben White for Arsenal. I have no Arsenal players, because they're playing the blank. And my third choice I'm currently thinking is Shah for Newcastle. The downside with him is that it'd be all three Newcastle slots taken, and it means I couldn't get Wilson or Isaac if I wanted to later on, because they've got a double coming up. So there we have it. That's me with all my current pain in the FPL. Not the greatest season, but I can still have fun. I'm not trying to be differential, but I know my teams are a fair bit different to a lot of other people's teams. So I could be in for a whole lot more pain this game week. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you're doing better than I am with the game. Cheers. Bye.